The championship is ruthless and unpredictable. Blues' destiny very much in their own hands at this point, but they need to continue to put points on the board. Southampton are looking to score for 31 consecutive games and win here for the first time since 1986 today, while Blues are looking for three consecutive home league wins for the first time since April 2021. The way that he has demanded. Of course, it did take them a while. They did stall at the start of the season, but very quickly got themselves up to speed. And that's what Paik Sung Ho is looking to do for Blues over the halfway line. Bakuna back into the side and cutting in from the left flank. Miyoshi in acres of space here. Big moment early in the game. Miyoshi buries it. It's a dream start for Blues. Miyoshi sprinkling his magic once again. What a finish, Kesara. Yeah, great start. I was shouting for the ball to get switched this side because Jay Stansfield and Miyoshi were in loads of space, down his right hand side. And it's a great ball in by Bakuna. Miyoshi's on his own. Defenders tried to get back, but he took a great touch and on his right foot, on his weaker foot, slammed it into that top left corner. But really good finish and absolutely what a great start. Magic Miyoshi strikes again. Blue's first attack of the game. Gino Bakuna back in the side and certainly the architect gliding in from the left hand side picked out Koji Miyoshi in acres of space and he made no mistake burying across Bazunu and it's the dream start here inside three minutes at St Andrews at Nighthead Park. So that positive mindset and really encouraging the team straight off it's going to pay off. Adams dispossessed by Ivu and here's Bakuna it's Bakuna for Blues it's the post deflects back off Bazunu and agonisingly the wrong side of the post. Blues electrifying in the first five minutes. Yep. Stevens. This is where Southampton can be dangerous as they commit men forward as they probe the penalty area. Armstrong left footed ball flashed across. Brooks on the back stick. Ruddy had to act. Did he get a touch? No. Ricocheted off the turf and over the crossbar. No Anfield. Benderek allowed to travel and looks to slip through Armstrong. Armstrong robs Laird of possession. And there's Che Adams' tame effort in the end. You could just... Brilliant. Laird now, acres of space to drive into Ethan Laird. Onto the left foot, deflected, could have gone anywhere. Behind it goes for a corner kick. And Blues, every time they come forward, Southampton look petrified. Adams combines well with Smallbone and... Armstrong is onside and slots the Saints level. Adam Armstrong. Short to Armstrong, this one straight off the training ground. And it goes into a dangerous area. Manning it was rising, pinball in the penalty area and smuggled behind for a second consecutive corner. And Brooks in acres and he feeds Smallbone. And Roddy did just enough to turn it round the post at his near stick. But Jay Stansfield, right out in the clear, angles tight, oh, yes! He makes it look so easy. Stansfield, the star boy, restores the lead against the Saints in prolific fashion. What a strike! Yeah, absolute rocket there, right to the top corner. Really pleased with Stansfield, he hasn't scored in so many games and didn't seem like it there. He was full of confidence, just rocketed that right to the top corner. Keeper Bazzulu had no chance. Again, so fancy, you know, sloppy, there's gaps at the back and tried to get the head, but it just fell perfectly to, to Stansfield. Yeah, knocked it on and had all that space and time. Sometimes, that, sometimes that's difficult as a striker when you have got so much time and space. But he finishes it great and rocks it right to the top corner. So completely against the run of play. I was just about to say how good Southampton were going forward and picking out those intricate passes centrally. But we mentioned earlier... Armstrong. There's Brooks. Downs arriving on the scene. Blues just holding the Saints up on the edge of the penalty area. Stephen Square, Armstrong inside, there's Brooks, they're moving it nicely, Manning chops in field, downs, Armstrong bending one, hitting the crossbar. Small. Run for Ruddy, he aims for Buchanan, 
And despite the skid off what is a very wet turf now, Buchanan controls. Paik, terrific run. Brilliant vision by Buchanan. It's Paik. He puts it back, struck towards goal by James. Easily gathered by Bazzuni, who got down to his left-hand side well. Personally, for me, he did lean his arm, in, his shoulder into it, and just to clear it, so definitely a potential penalty shot there for Blues. Miyoshi on the volley, didn't quite catch it, charged down by Armstrong, it will break for Bakuna. Sorts his feet out and releases the effort! Not too far away, certainly had Bazzuni scrambling, it took a nick on its way through, it'll be a third successive corner. Interesting game. But the ball's broken for Adams, and he's fed Adam Armstrong! Roddy produces the save, level to it, down to his left. First time, small bow. Brooks steps inside of Buchanan. It's David Brooks looking to bend one beautifully. Saints level again. Ten minutes into the second half. Approaching the final half an hour, Smallbones corner kick to the near post is smuggled away. Stansfield will pick up. He'll play it straight to Smallbone. Will deliver back into the danger area. Brought down by Adams. He'll take it on and squirm it through. And Southampton for the first time leading the game. Happy. Everything has changed. Brooks trading passes with Smallbone. And again, the referee has pulled it back just when Southampton were looking for the overload. And he's pulled it back because he's brandished a straight red card for Dion Sanderson. Yeah, I'd like to see that back. I'm not sure it was a straight red. I think it's just a late tackle. Maybe the referee's trying to make up for the fact he made a mistake when... Southampton did want to break last time. He stopped it again here when they, he probably should have let it play on. We'll have a look now, back at the... Mm. I don't, it's a bit late, I don't know. I wouldn't class it as a, a red. He's, he's gone for the ball, he's gone to try and win it. He's just a little bit late. But in the referee's eyes, it's a, it's a red card. Well, it just shows you how quickly things... Now, creating a, even more of an overload going forward, but Blues can win it back like this and catch them off guard then. Could work out Southampton's disadvantage. Bakuna just crowded out in the end. We'll get the throw in. Yeah, but as you say, the impetus to take care of the ball in possession it highlights it even more for Blues now with a man down. That's what they're looking to do now. Really difficult to do that when you've got three or four players around you and you're getting overloaded because they've got the spare man, but. Led. Stansfield! Off the post! Bakuna! Yes! <laughs> Against all the odds! Blues respond again! Well, the Saints thought they were soaring, but Blues have dragged them straight back down to earth! Three all! What a game! I can't help but laugh. This game has just been an absolute madness. Never the thought that Blues would be able to get back in the game again. In comes that corner kick, Adobe in the area! Heartbreak for Blues. Euphoria for Saints. A goal that could have heavenly proportions. For Russell Martin, Saints side. Madozi looking to spin away from Buchanan. Cynical foul from uh, Lee Buchanan right in front of Russell Martin. Well, the game can be so cruel. It's finished. Blues three, Southampton four. Gut wrenching. Key right on, Blue Noses.